Hi there, welcome to Kevin's Garage. Today I'm providing you with an in-depth review of this whole Sun 3000 PSI pressure washer. Now before we get started, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. All right, let's get into it. The first thing to note about this is that it definitely wasn't intended for retail sales. Other than the brand and warehousing info, there is no other information on the box. Included in the box are the pressure washer, hose reel, power cable holder, wand holder, some screws, manual, cleaning tool, the wand, wand extension, four high pressure nozzles, the brush attachment, and foam cannon attachment. First impression, everything seemed to be decent quality. Now that it's all unboxed, we're going to RTFM. One nice thing that is featured on the back of the manual is all the specs for this machine. So let's go through them now. The most important specs to note are PSI and flow rate. 2200 PSI and 1.8 gallon per minute is quite impressive for such a small unit. I'll test that later in the video. Assembly took about five minutes. Note that there are two different size screws, one for the hose reel and the other for the power cable holder. I was disappointed to see that the wand did not come with a nozzle holder for the unused nozzles. Find a safe place to store them where you won't lose them. And here is the fully assembled unit. It's a pretty small package and fairly lightweight, making it easy to get in and out of storage. It is short, so the wheels are basically useless unless you're also short or can't carry something more than 20 pounds. Now is a good time to tell you that Holson sent me this pressure washer for free for me to review. I can assure you that I am giving my 100% unbiased opinion in this video. If you want to purchase this, there is a link in the description. Now let's head outside and get testing. For start, <coughs> wow, 1000 PSI short. That's about half the rated 2200 PSI. Well, let's see how it actually works. First we'll test the max flow rate. The bucket had two gallons in it, which exceeds the rate of 1.8 gallons per minute. All the high pressure nozzles work as expected, delivering about 1000 PSI while operating, drawing 1200 watts. I don't think this will work with a surface cleaner, most need more PSI. The foam cannon works pretty good, I just wish the bottle was bigger. A full bottle gives only about one minute of spray time before it runs out, and the pickup hose in the bottle is a little too short to pick up all the soap. As for real world application, this unit is great for cleaning cars with the various attachments. My 95 Suburban 2500 was pretty dirty after sitting outside all winter. After a soak and spray, the caked on dirt and pollen came right off. I liked using the foam cannon even though it was a bit small. The brush attachment was borderline useless though. I also recently moved and the driveway is really dirty because the previous owners didn't take the best care of the place. A 3x3 area of exposed aggregate took about 3 minutes to clean, which is about 30 minutes for 100 square feet. It took me 8 hours to thoroughly clean our extremely dirty 500 square feet stamped concrete back patio. This unit is definitely not the best for large projects, and I don't think it'll work well with the surface cleaner. Putting the unit away took about three minutes. The top hose reel is a bit cumbersome, but I think that is just part of dealing with the high pressure hoses. I'm 6'3", and the height of the unit makes it uncomfortable to wheel around, but it's so light I just carry it. As for long term quality, after pressure washing my Suburban, two small sailboats, my back patio, I've had no mechanical issues. I did find the pressure washer tips over easily, which resulted in the power cable holder partially breaking. 
I'm personally a huge fan of fixing things when they break instead of throwing away and buying another. So I took this unit apart to see how serviceable it was and to see if there are any parts available online. After getting it apart, I saw some neat engineering designs with some basic hardware, but the more critical components like the motor and pump housing are not available online for replacing. If these components break, you will have to fix them on your own or replace the unit. Things I would like to see changed for future models. First one, a holder for the nozzles. Second, better stability. Replace the wheels with a wider base or flip out legs, or change the unit to a horizontal operating position with vertical storage. Third one, make the parts available. And last, but definitely not least, updated advertising. Stop lying about specs. 1000 PSI falls way short of the rated 2200 PSI and advertise 3,000 PSI. But I think it would take an entire industry shift for that to happen. No one would buy a pressure washer marketed at 1,000 PSI when others are marketed at 3,000 or more for the same price and form factor. It's an unfortunate situation that we as consumers are in, which is why it always pays off to do your research before purchasing. Overall, for the price of $140, it's one of the better deals of pressure washers on Amazon. If you're looking to wash vehicles or houses, it's great, but I don't really recommend it for concrete projects. As I said before, if you want to buy this product, there is a link in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.